everybody, and welcome to Even the Ocean, with me, the Uncanny Train. Wow, we're really, uh, got a lot of choices for which button we want to hit there, huh? I'm gonna press X. Now, Even the Ocean is a platformer with heavy, heavy narrative. Some would probably not even call it a uh, platformer at all. And in fact, the game is so customizable that you can get all of these what uh, most people would call cheats, but you can uh, enable or disable different portions of the game to really change how it plays for you. I don't think I'm going to use anything in there. I'm gonna turn down the music just a little bit more, though. Kind of loud. Okay. So strange. It actually reverses the A and B buttons. For what I'm used to. I'm used to hitting A to go through and B to cancel. Anyway, we're gonna go new game. Uh, I'm actually using a controller. This is the first uh, LP. Before the game begins, please select how you'd like to play the game. Okay. Uh, okay. Full game description. Play the game in its entirety. Recommended for most players. First time playthroughs. Story. Skip the power play levels from the game for players who wish to focus on the story and skip the dexterity based levels. Gauntlet. Play only the power plant levels for players who only want to play the dexterity based levels of the game. Warp. Warning. Spoilers. Are spoilers just from reading that? <laughs> Might edit that out. But we're gonna play the full game. Because... Why wouldn't I? Please note that once decided, you cannot change the game mode. Well, that's fine. You've chosen to play in full game mode. Is that correct? Hold down the shoulder, B, or X buttons to confirm. I will hold that down. Now that you've selected your desired game mode, please take a brief moment to look over the list of options. Some of them may help this game to be a better experience. Okay. That's stuff I already went through. Okay. But I already... Turn this down. Why are you doing this to me again? There we go. Makes a little more sense. Mm-hmm. Now normally, you wouldn't want to show someone's options for a game, but because this game has so many different options, I thought I'd show it. Okay, you can tweak these options at any point later by visiting the menu, settings, and in-game. You could access the menu by pressing the start button. Okay. I have played a game before, thank you. Storyteller. Oh, hello there, human. You came to play the story called Even the Ocean, didn't you? I did promise to tell it. So tell it I will, to as many humans as possible. The world of Even the Ocean will be familiar to you in many ways. There are continents and oceans and lakes and rivers and humans and all other manner of plants and creatures, as there are on your own earth. However, integral to this world and this story are two polarized energy types that infuse all matter. Some call them dark and light, others refer to them by their hues of purple and green. An occasional few use the mathematically derived X and Y. At varying scales, all systems are affected by their energy alignment, the proportion of one energy type to the other contained within the system. Dark energy is strongly associated with horizontal motion, light with vertical. The greater the the greater the uh, the greater the disparity, the stronger these effects manifest in the system. The prime example of this is White Forge City. White Forge City is the most concentrated hub of human activity in this world. Its extraordinary Extraordinary gravity-defying architecture is a testament to mankind's ability to wield energy alignments on a massive scale. For this, it is sometimes called the Grand City of Light Energy. Dotting the continent at a varying distance from White Forge are power plants. 
that serve to distill or isolate the energy types into extreme concentrations for human use. Our, uh, uh, our story begins at one such power plant located in the Fey Rouge region. You will, here we will meet Elif, a newly hired power plant technician who has been sent to the Fey Rouge plant for routine maintenance along with senior technician Cassidy. Act 1. Elif's first assignment. Hey, rookie. What are you, taking a nap? I'm so sorry, just resting my eyes. I feel like I'm getting a migraine. Something's not right in the air today. It just feels tense or something. Yeah, I know what you mean. Do you? I grew up near here, actually. I was kind of glad to get this as my first assignment. Since I'm familiar with the area, I used to sneak into the plant as a kid and look for the machinery that I'd read about in my copy of Large Scale Energy Management Standards and Procedures. Some light reading. Although I guess I shouldn't tell you about the sneaking in part. <laughs> Hmm. Right. Well, there's no more time for sitting around. We got a power plant to fix. Ugh. Five minutes on the job and I'm already embarrassing myself. Well, never mind. I just need to focus on the work today. Cassidy will be okay with me if I could do the work. Little power armor things. Bay Rouge. The Hills of Red Ferns. Seems aptly named, I guess. Uh, it's it's kind of strange the uh, the character graphics versus the backdrop. There's quite a disparity there. Hold the A button to jump. Okay. Mhm. Mm I'm all over this. When the explanation mark appears over your head, press the shoulder B or X buttons to interact. Okay. Oops. Seem to have skipped part of that. Try that again. You may jump up through thin ledge like surfaces and then land on top of them. You may also drop down through them by holding the down button and pressing the A button. Okay. Good to know. Try that out. Yep. Works as you might expect it if you were familiar with platforming games. Mm hmm. Thank you. This is a save point. If you ever die or exit the game and start again later, your progress will start back from where you last saved. The game will automatically save whenever you walk into a save point. Also, if you stand over the save point and press the start button, you could save to a new file. Okay. Final Fantasy looking thing. Mm-hmm. Jumping all over the things. Okay, there's Cassidy. Well, this is a sap pad. Stand on top and it'll transfer your energy via cable to other mechanisms. In this case, we need to send purple energy to open this purple door. Losing purple energy effectively shifts your energy balance towards green. Or light. Energy. That's why the surface of the sap pad is colored green. Don't worry your little head though. That suit will provide all of the energy to the sap pad so your body's energy levels will stay totally safe and balanced. Go ahead and try this one out. Okay. We do the thing. It doesn't look like there's enough clearance for us to fit through here. <laughs> but we did. Why am I doing this? Good. I'll be up ahead. Okay. Those doors go up. Wouldn't that be light energy? Huh? huh? Little odd thingies? They're briefly stopping me. They also seem to have the color of the, uh, the light and dark energy. that 
Oh, there it is again. Whoa, what was that? It sounded like a huge lightning strike. Maybe an explosion? I'd better be careful. I just noticed the character we're controlling's hair is uh, kind of purple and green. I mean, it's kind of pinkish, but games never seem to get purple right, do they? This is annoying, because purple's my favorite color. This looks a little rickety. Aleph! Oh. Get off the bridge! Uh oh. Well, I suppose we should get off the bridge. Or get zapped by lightning? Ugh. What happened? My suit is damaged? Ugh. Cassidy! Cassidy! Are you alright? No, you're... Cassidy. Uh-huh. Cassidy, I... I'm sorry. Not our fault. My suit is a wreck. Even the radio's busted. There'll be too much loose energy in the power plant. It'll be too dangerous, but... Hmm. I take this and strap this here. I think this'll work. Elf salvages this chest piece of her suit to create a shield that will defend against various forms of energy. To help you learn how to play this game, I will occasionally offer some instruction pages which you can inspect immediately or visit later by accessing the menu. Remember, you may access the menu by pressing the start button. Okay. Aleph's shield can be pointed up, down, left, or right by using Aleph's movement controls. For example, moving to the right will automatically point the shield to the right as well. Try pointing the shield in different directions and see how it feels. If you want your shield in one direction regardless of your movement, you may use the shield lock ability. Press and hold the shoulder, B, or X buttons to lock your shield in its current orientation. Okay. Your shield will not change direction until you release the shoulder, B, or X buttons. Okay. Let's try that. Let's try it. Oh. Okay. Neat. Good to know. Without the protection of her work suit, Aleph is left vulnerable to hazards that can affect the energy levels of her body. Be careful, as the energized pod plants cannot be absorbed by your shield. If you ever need extra info on a hazard you are facing, check out the field notes in the journal section of the menu. This bar represents Aleph's energy alignment towards dark or light energy. When Aleph touches a charged object like these, her energy alignment will be affected. Light charged vent exhaust or dark charged pod plants. I think we've seen light charged pod plants too. I guess these are just examples. The stronger Aleph's, Aleph's dark energy alignment, the faster she moves horizontally. The stronger her light al alignment, the higher she could jump. Oh, okay. So it's gonna be like a puzzle platformer. It's safe and often unavoidable for Aleph's energy alignment to shift ar around as she works. But if the bar fills completely with either energy, it's curtains for Aleph. We will have to start over, or you will have to start over from their most recently activated checkpoint. Okay, that's neat. But we, we can't avoid that. Okay, that is in fact true. But, a little light balance of the dark, I guess. It's kind of interesting. It's like, it's like health and puzzle ability enhancing things at the same time. The destruction of the cumbersome armor, however, allows Aleph more freedom and mobility. Alone, she is able to deftly climb the cave walls, as she had climbed while sneaking around the Feyrouge power plant as a young person. When Aleph jumps towards a wall and touches it, she will begin sliding down the wall's surface. If she presses away from the wall, she will fall to the ground. From this wall sliding position, Aleph can climb upwards by continuing to press into the wall and jumping repeatedly. Okay, I have played Mega Man. 
yeah, it it feels just like Mega Man. Actually, uh, I mean, I don't know I'm not far into the game, but the, the controls feel pretty tight with my controller, which is nice. Hold right and press the A button repeatedly. Okay, way ahead of you. Not only could Aleph climb walls, but she's able to jump from one wall to another. From a wall sliding position, Aleph could also jump away from the wall, onto a different wall or platform. To do this, Aleph must begin moving away from the wall at roughly the same time as she jumps. Jumping off walls may seem complicated at first, but soon it will become second nature, like holding the shift key to type a capital letter. I'm not sure that's a good example. I've noticed most gamers do not capitalize unless they're spamming. <laughs> <laughs> Soon you will be able to, to use wall climbing and wall jumping to navigate complex terrain with ease. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh. Sure. Add some hazards to the mix, huh? Hey, this is the cave attached to the power plant. And I'm pretty close to the core. With my suit's radio broken. My best bet is to do some quick repairs on the power plant's core, then use the station's high-powered radio to call for help from Whiteboard City. Okay, sounds like a plan. Ooh. Kind of a shift in graphic style. Okay, another save point. Our shield out. Bounce up there. Don't mind if I do. What are these all about now? Okay. I yeah, gotcha. Okay. Mosey on over here. Here, I guess. Imagine. Or is there anything down there? Exploration has failed me. Wah, wah. Okay. They're pretty generous with the save points. Oh, we're gonna lock in our shield and have a nice slide. Whee! Okay. It's kind of neat. This way first. Oh, I'm locked. Apparently. Also, is that like a map in the back there? Of the save point? I wonder. Okay. Ah, I could use some dark energy. Or light energy. Wait, there is light energy. Gotta lead a balanced lifestyle, right? Of, of energy. Something. It looks uncomfortable to hold the shield behind your back like that. Ooh, that one got me. I guess because I landed on it. Okie dokie. I wonder if I'll be able to go back to previous areas. Because there was that path there that it's not letting me go back to now. Hope I'm not missing something important there. Some story or maybe some items. I wonder if this is Metroidvania. I haven't really looked into it that much. To be honest. The uh developers of this game, and they're the uh, developers that made Anodyne. We played that. I'm near the core control room. It's offline as expected, but I should be able to fix this place up and contact Whiteforge. Looks like some of the delicate crystal lenses have been fried. I'll need to replace the proper type of crystal lenses into those receptors with the pink lasers. 
Okay. And get crystal lenses from the dispensers on the ground. I'll have to be careful. If a crystal lens hits any sort of energy concentration, light or dark, it'll shatter. Looks like there's a receptor right ahead I can repair. There should be a few others to take care of as well. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Good. That one's down. It was a little strange to be running and jumping with right with this. Like that. Oh, there was another thing of a jig over there. Okay. Oh, this one's horizontal. Oh, I see. I gotcha. So, yeah. Okay. So it's that little the lens itself that is what you need to keep safe. That's neat. Okay. That, that adds a neat mechanic. Okay, I need uh, some dark energy. Like bad. There we go. Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> Oh boy. Well, it's a lot easier jumping up between those when, I'm, when we don't have to worry about that lens. Oh hey, that's a thing. Oh, okay. Oops, that was sudden. It's the last one. Let me check the central console to see if it's active. Now. <laughs> the, the way the uh, text is, is uh, displayed in this is going to make me sound like um, William Shatner, at least more than I normally do. <laughs> Looks like I need to recalibrate, recalibrate the energy flow. Oh. My goal is to rotate the mirror so that the light beam is targeted at Whiteforge, and the dark beam is grounded. I can rotate mirrors by hovering over them the cursor and pressing the shoulder B or X buttons. Looks like the dark beam is already grounded here, so this should be a quick fix. Okay. Did it! Let's see here. I just need to set the frequency and... Okay, that should do it. Hello, Whiteforge HQ, this is Aleph, uh, Technician 03A on the line. Can you hear me? Okay. Whiteforge HQ, 03A, what's happening out there? Where's Technician 18C? We lost radio contact with your suits. Cassidy... Cassidy is dead. There was a freak accident with some lightning and... I don't know how to get her out. I had to leave her at the bottom of a pit. Are you injured, technician? No, 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 I, I think I'm fine. Good, we'll see you back in Whiteforge soon. Then for your debriefing. The crew will be sent to retrieve Cassidy's body. Click. Uh. Oh. Okay. Bye. Well, that's that, I guess. Time to head home. He was all right for just, you know, letting somebody die. Oh, okay. Got an overworld thing. Travel between areas in her world. Aleph must cross the overworld. Aleph could travel to new areas by crossing the overworld, walk up to an area, and when its name appears, press the shoulder B or X buttons. It should just, like, abbreviate that as, like, press the action buttons, and then, like, you know, tell you what the action buttons were at, at some point. <laughs> Hold the shoulder B or X buttons to investigate and open undiscovered areas. When open, the name of the area will appear and you will be able to enter. You may also investigate some conspicuous objects to interact with them. Ooh. Hello, player. Ah, uh, fourth wall! Oh my god! Please note, if you forget where to go, check the journal, available in the menu. You'll find Aleph's recollections from throughout her journey. Hmm, Whiteforge is pretty close to Fey Rouge. I just need to follow the nearest road south of here. Okay. Are these roads? Okay, there's a road. Oh, here's a sign. 
The sign says southeast to White Forge. Okay. Southeast. That looks pretty White Forge y. White Forge entry. Okay. The, the resolution really goes down whenever you're in the overworld for some reason. Kind of off putting. White Forge, Grand City of Light Energy. Okay. The rest of the day was a blur. Oh, if you're going that fast, anything's going to be a blur. I was debriefed in the Capitol building, the site of a bunch of government and administrative offices. Most people call it the Lighthouse. It's technically my work headquarters, though my job is mainly out in the field. They offered to throw out the shield for me, but for some reason, I wanted to take it home with me. I guess it feels like an old friend now. I went home, ate some noodles. I'm tired, but not sleepy. I heard there was a funeral for Cassidy scheduled for this weekend. I didn't really know her. Today was the first time we had worked together. But I want to go. Anyway, good night, journal. Three days later. Oh, uh, Yara. Cassidy loved the earth, the soil. Sometimes, even after working all day as a power plant technician, she'd come home and work in the garden. Most of you have had a bunch of her vegetables and herbs. It was her special place. So, so in a way, it feels right returning her to that place. Now. Returning her to the moss and the dirt and the bugs that she called her friends, knowing that this is where she wanted to end up. As part of the earth. As part of everything. She's a part of us, too. She lives on the way that she's affected us, and in the ways we go on to affect others. It's an ever-expanding ripple across time, even after her conscious memory has faded from the earth. After the funeral. It's a shame. Paxton. Huh. I have a nephew named Paxton. It's a shame, really is. I always thought Cassidy was pushing herself too hard. Didn't think it would end this way. Cassidy didn't do anything wrong. Nobody could have seen it coming. Yes, yes, of course, you're right. Did you really see it happen, though? Well, everyone makes mistakes, all I'm saying. Lopez. Scary, yeah? Could have happened to any of us. Especially could have happened to you, Aleph. Cassidy was a very good technician, you know? It feels like the world is just getting more and more dangerous. Might just be my imagination, you know? But it feels like it. Hastings. I think this is the person that was on the, uh, the display when we were radioing HQ. Kind of morbid, all that stuff about getting eaten by bugs. I guess that's what these people think about. Mm -hmm. Oh, Technician 03A. Mayor Biggs was asked, or has asked to see you. When you're finished up here, I'll take you to him. Oh, the mayor? He wants to see me? Why? Government business. Are you ready to go? Uh, not yet. No, no, I want to pay my respects to Cassidy. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Um, hi, Cassidy, I... I'm sorry. I still can't believe what happened, you know? It was all so random. You didn't deserve it. Of course you didn't deserve it. You know, at first I was a little scared of you, but... Hey. Um, Aleph, right? Yes, you're Yara. That was a beautiful speech about Cassidy. That city suit is waiting for you, right? You'd better go. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, I'd, I'd better go. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Hmm. What if I went with the right? Nope. Okay. Hey, 
you're ready to go? Yes. All right, follow me. I wonder, was Yara angry with me? Mr. Mayor, Technician O3A is here to see you. Mayor Biggs. Oh yes, of course. Bring her in. Um, Mr. Mayor, hello. I mean, greetings, sir. I am Aleph, er, uh, Technician O3A. Aleph, please call me Richard. Thanks so much for coming. Um, okay, of course. What can I do for you? Well, Aleph. I've been informed about the way you handled yourself down at Fay Rouge, and I have to say, I'm impressed. You showed some really remarkable ingenuity in the face of some very tragic circumstances. And on your first mission, no less. Uh, thank you. I just want you to know that I'm rooting for you, Aleph. And if there's ever anything you need, you can come talk to me at any time. I'm your friend, okay? Oh, okay. Great. I'm glad you feel the same way. What a great moment. Can we get a shot of this, Hastings? Look. Thank you so much, Hastings. Now I'm going to level with you, Aleph. Because we're friends now. Level with me? I didn't ask you here today just to snap some wicked selfies. The truth is, Aleph, I have a much graver purpose. There have been some disturbances lately. Near a few of our plants, the plant that you fixed at Bay Rouge was actually only one of several plants that have been disrupted recently. It's really quite strange. In all the years that the plants have been active, we've never had so many problems all at once. Come over here to the map. This is Restview Beach. Over here is Dream Dram Canyon. And this is Boreas Heights. After, you, after your spectacular performance in Fay Rouge, Aleph, I have high hopes for you. Feel free to pick one of these power plants to go to. If you're not sure where to go first, then Restview Beach Power Plant is currently the most stable out of the three and thus the least dangerous. Anyways, wherever you decide on, we'll send the other technicians to the other areas. Oh, technicians Lopez and Paxton? Hmm? Oh yes then. Now, Aleph, your primary goal is of course to fix the plants. We need a constant supply of light energy to keep the entire infrastructure of the city running smoothly. But also keep an eye out for anything that seems strange or unusual that might be related to the malfunctions. As I've said, nothing like this has ever happened before. Any hints that you can provide will help our experts figure out what's going on here. Yes, of course, I'll, I'll be looking. Good, good. We'll have the rest of the weekend off, of course. You need your rest. Don't worry about the city. We have three other perfectly functioning plants providing energy now. Come back to the lighthouse on Monday, though, and we'll get you set up with a new energy suit. Yes, sir. It's been a real pleasure. Oh, and Aleph? Yes? Keep this to yourself, won't you? Some citizens might find this news uh, alarming, even though, as I've said, we have plenty of fully functional power plants keeping our city afloat. Wouldn't want to cause any unnecessary panic, right? Oh, yes, of course. Out of gal. I'm counting on you, Aleph. See you soon. Yeah, see you later. Hmm. And they say I'm out of touch with the constituents. That went well, didn't it, Hastings? Yes, sir, it went well. <laughs> that was uh, interesting. I feel like I'm really being singled out. Maybe he was. Maybe he has that talk with everyone. Or maybe these power plant mal malfunctions really are a big deal. Big enough for, to shake up procedures. 
It all almost seems like an organized attack, but I don't think there are any other cities in the world big enough to make war on Whiteforge. Anyway, I guess I have the rest of the weekend to myself. I should try to get to know the city a bit. Let's see here. According to this info pamphlet, right now I'm in the Apex District. An interconnected series of elevated platforms and towers made possible by technological advancements harnessing the power of light energy. Nowhere is there th this power more apparent than in the famous Sunray Spire, the greatest feat of human ingenuity in the known world. Whew, that's some strong wording, but it's hard to argue that they're overstating things. It really does feel like a portal to the future. It's breathtaking. But the Apex District is actually just a fraction of Whiteforge as a whole. Ground level Whiteforge still houses the majority of the population, including me. Speaking of which, I need to remember to take the Apex Line train to the city entrance, then take the ground line from there to Murex Park, the neighborhood my apartment is in. Okay, now we can move now. But, that's gonna be it for this episode. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying this game. And I hope you are too. So thanks for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed yourself, and I hope to see you next time. Stay spicy.